Doesn't go with your eyes. You hate it. A little bit. Any more heartless critiques of my general appearance? Nope. All done. So, is she as bendy as she looks? Maya and I are just friends. No, you and I are friends, and you don't have coffee with me three times a week. She's an interesting person. She grew up in Ohio, she has three brothers. Fascinating. Last week, that Cambodian lab tech was telling us how he survived the killing fields, and you left to go get a donut. So we flirt. It's fun. It's dangerous. That woman would totally do you. You think? Nothing is gonna happen. All I'm saying is if you want to be on a diet, you might want to stop hanging out by the dessert cart. So, how long have you been married? It's one of the few drawbacks of having an open marriage. Nobody ever asks me about current events or the weather. Yankees look good this season. <laughs> Seven years. And, uh, how long have you, you know? After three years, we realized that traditional marriage was making us both miserable. Most people get divorced at that point. Yeah, we didn't want to get divorced. We still loved each other. We just realized that expecting one person to fulfill all of your needs forever is unrealistic. There are happy monogamous couples out there. Sure. One or two have a perfect marriage. Everybody else has figured out how to settle for less. I don't want to settle and end up resenting my husband. I'd rather get the 10% he doesn't give me somewhere else so that I can really appreciate him for the 90% he does. I think something's wrong. With your stomach? My heart is racing. Try to take deep breaths. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna try to slow your heart down. Is this because of the blockage? No, it's not working. You need a crash cart in here? You know, we should really throw away that loofah. They're imported, sometimes they're not sterilized. We think our patient got any biases from hers. Is she gonna be okay? We're treating now, she should be fine. It's actually kind of bizarre. She and her husband have an open marriage. They sleep with other people. Well, she does. Her husband's totally fine with it. It's crazy, right? And you're bringing this up because? I thought it was interesting. More interesting than your other cases, I guess. Are you? talk about your colleagues, you rant about house, you don't usually mention your patients. Is open marriage something you want? No. I mean, I know you'd never... All this time and energy you spent convincing me you weren't cheating. And there's somebody else. I'm not... Okay. There's a woman at work. People say she's attracted to me, but nothing's happened, nothing's going to happen. I'm not having an affair. But you want to. No, honey. I'm trying to be honest. I don't want to make the same mistakes. Be honest then. Are you attracted to her? Look. She's attractive. There's an attraction. Aren't there men who make you feel that way? Yeah, of course there are, but it never occurs to me to act on it because, because I'm married to you. And that's enough for me. Aren't I enough for you? Of course you. Our patient's lost all movement in her legs. There are other doctors, Chris, we're talking. I'm sorry. The woman's paralyzed. I'll get a cab.
Get better, Mommy. I love you, Rabbit. Julia, you have a guest. Hi, this isn't a good time. Dr. Hadley, did you say there was a video game in the playroom? Maybe you can teach me how to play one of them. See you in radiology. Get out of my wife's room. Your relationship with her stays out of our space. I was worried about her. Tom's right. You should go. So it's fine if we have sex, but if I drop by to see if you're okay... This is our family. Sorry. Asking for an open marriage. You got stones. Conversation sort of got away from me. It was a train wreck. I think it's good you brought it up. I read a study that found men who have multiple copies of a certain vasopressin receptor are twice as likely to be unfaithful. Maybe you're just one of those guys. So my cheating is biologically predetermined. Fantastic. Multiply times five. We need a better look at the medulla. I thought you'd be relieved. This gets you off the hook. It's just genetics. I'm five foot six and have a receding hairline. I hate genetics. Medulla's clean. I don't see you wearing lifts or hair plugs. That's because being short and bald doesn't hurt anybody. The only thing hurtful about your other genetic predisposition is that you keep denying it. It's not good for you. Or Rachel. There's nothing there. It's not adrenal cancer. And maybe you're right about me. But I'm not going to stop trying. Rachel's worth it. Look up there. The lung. What is that? Hi. Sorry, I didn't make it home last night. I needed to run some tests. You know what the worst part was? When you had your affair. It wasn't the sex. It was the lies. Realizing that the narrative of my life was totally wrong. You weren't stuck in surgery. You weren't out of town. I don't want to go through that again. I told you, nothing's going... Thursday nights. You have to be home by midnight. You don't bring her here. You don't talk to her about me. And I don't want to meet her ever in any context. Are you giving me permission to sleep with other women? It's what you want, isn't it? I want you. Oh, you want more than me. You want that thrill. But I love you. And I really believe that you love me. And we have a good life together. And at this point, either I walk away, or I try to accept who you really are. Tomorrow's Thursday. Yes, it is. All our tests came back negative. It's not a clotting disorder. Which means we need to come up with a better idea. So what causes problems in the stomach, heart, nerves? Oh my god. You know what it is? Taub's wife gave the green light for an open marriage. He's wearing cologne, but not the stink of shame. You got a date. I am going out with Maya tonight. With Rachel's blessing. Mazel tov? Maybe the problem isn't her blood. Maybe it's the vessels carrying the blood. No sign of schistocytes or hemolysis. So you're actually going to sleep with another woman, then go home to your wife? Thank God someone's keeping us focused on what's really important. Uh, Taub was going to do all of that anyway. Pulmonary arterial hypertension. Imaging showed normal diameter in her pulmonary artery. Here's a thought. Taub's wife is now totally on the market. Mind hitting me with her digits? She would love that, but duty calls. 